Well, Glanbia PLC held this AGM indeed virtually today, a first for the company indeed for many companies this year because of COVID-19. So joining us on the line is Group Managing Director Siobhan Talbot. Siobhan, obviously a first for Glanbia, but what were the main points coming from that? But And obviously an unusual experience for you. Yes, Kieran, that's right. Our PLC AGM took place virtually this morning, so it was unusual. Obviously, the government's extension of social distancing restrictions around coronavirus meant that we were not able today to run the meeting in the normal way. But we were able to conduct the meeting virtually, so shareholders could submit their proxies in advance and then follow the meeting online and by teleconference. A number of important pieces of business were before the meeting today, and one was the approval of the final dividend for 2019, which will be paid to shareholders on the 24th of April. As regards the whole uh, 2020, the earlier part of the year seems to have got off to a good start after a difficult 2019, uh, obviously with some uh, volatility really towards the end of March. But would that be a fair uh, summation of, of the opening quarter indeed and an improvement on a difficult 2019? Yes, today we released our first quarter inter-management statement and as you say, we reported a good first quarter. Our revenue overall was up 17% on a constant currency basis and that was due to positive demand for our products across our branded sports nutrition business and indeed our Glanby Nutritionals ingredient business. It's fair to say, Kieran, that after a good start to the year, we did see a softening in performance the end of the quarter and into April as markets did become more volatile with the growing impact of the COVID-19 globally. It is obviously unclear how long this disruption is going to last or how deep it will go. So therefore, we did withdraw today our formal financial guidance as it's difficult to forecast accurately in this unusual environment. But we do feel that there will continue to be good opportunities for us when this whole crisis passes. Obviously, as regards an outlook, then you've answered probably there as regards the outlook for the rest of 2020. Last year, the uncertainty of Brexit was hanging over everybody. Now it's COVID-19, which makes really looking at an outlook literally impossible to, to predict. Yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, the world is very unusual and volatile just now. And really, in terms of managing our way through this crisis, we have really three priorities. So firstly, is protecting our employees. Secondly, maintaining that good supply of nutritious food to our customers and consumers and maintaining the financial strength of Glandia. Uh, the health and safety of our employees, Kieran, is our absolute number one priority in all of that. And since February, we've had teams working on business continuity planning right across the group. I've led that out myself. And we continue to ensure that our plants and supply chains are operating without significant disruption. Our employees are working remotely where possible and we've restricted, as you would expect, all travel. Obviously, we have a really good comprehensive set. Sorry, Karen, please go ahead. Yeah, obviously, um, from a farmer's point of view, they're very worried. Uh, milk is coming up to peak and, and uh, obviously two, two areas, obviously uh, processing all of this milk because there's a lot of fear as regards processing capability and obviously the state of, of the dairy markets and with, uh, with, with milk price under the decline. So what's Lamby going to do about that? First of all, handling the, the peak milk and then secondly, as regards ongoing milk price and market situation. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge, and I think it's really important to acknowledge, the commitment of our frontline staff in milk collection. Um, they'll be engaging with our suppliers every day and are doing a superb job. And then, of course, we have all the teams in processing who, too, are doing an incredible job in what are really difficult circumstances for people who are in those frontline roles. They're manning the plants every day. And obviously, for us, maintaining their health and safety is a priority for indeed us and our, our suppliers and stakeholders. There's no doubt here in the dairy markets have been significantly impacted by COVID-19 as demand has been disrupted worldwide. Uh, we've heard stories not in our own business, but in other businesses in the US and the UK where milk has been dumped because there is no market or no processing capacity in ingredient facilities. Thankfully in Ireland, we're not facing that situation, but we're keeping a very close eye on it. We've been active with other co-ops and seeking support from the EU and from the government mm -hmm. should help or we would aim to help put a floor on the market as we manage through this crisis. Our objective, as you can imagine, is to sustain processing so that our farmers absolutely have an outlet for their milk, that we ensure those monthly milk checks keep flowing to our farmers, 
And our aim is to do the very best job we can in a very difficult market situation to support farmers, but also ensuring that Glandia Ireland, which is a great, strong business, that that underlying health of the business is protected and sustained. Because once this is over, we need collectively to be able to recover strongly and face into those opportunities that will be ahead of us. Finally, Siobhan, do you feel that Lambia can manage its way uh, through this coronavirus? Yes, absolutely. Uh, As an organisation, we are strong. We have a very good debt position in the PLC. Um, Our debt actually came down significantly in the first quarter of 2020 relative to where it was at the end of the first quarter of 19. Uh, We have a lot of facilities relative to our debt levels, a lot of spare capacity in the system. Glandy Ireland too, a strong organisation. Um, we need to maintain all of the disciplines we've always had in running our business. But absolutely, I think as an organisation that is fundamentally about nutrition with our purpose being to deliver better nutrition for every step of life's journey, I believe here that after this crisis, people will even embrace further the importance of health the importance that nutrition plays in helping them achieve those healthy goals and that will be further opportunity for our organisation. We'll navigate this and the strength with which we were entering into it from a financial perspective will absolutely help us navigate it. Siobhan Talbot, Group Managing Director. Siobhan, thanks for talking to us. Stay safe and we'll talk to you soon. Likewise.